This is Code.org. I'm working on CS Fundamentals. Sometimes a cloud covers a flower. Sometimes it covers honeycomb. Oh, use an if else block. Oh, cool. What's that? Oh, here's one. If at do else. If a flower do. Okay, I'm going to drive it. Oh, wait. So block to collect nectar at flowers and make honey at honeycomb. Remember, if there's a flower, the bee only needs to get nectar once. So if at a flower, what do I want to do? Get nectar. Okay, so if at flower, yep. If at honeycomb, the bee only needs to make honey once. So if at a flower, get nectar. Else, hmm. Well, if I'm not at a flower, I guess I'm at a honeycomb. Else make honey. Oh, wait, first I need to move. Move and move, right? Once, twice. So now I'm going to move twice. Oh, wow, that was fast. Let's replay this just so we can talk about it. Move, right? Move. And now I'm asking the computer an if question. And remember, computers only respond true or false. So if it flower, if this is a flower, the computer says true, and I get the nectar. If this is not a flower, the computer will say false. And I not get nectar doesn't run. It skips that line, but it goes to make honey. Okay. But if it is a flower, yep, you're at a flower. True. Get nectar runs and it skips make honey. Only one of these lines will run. If I'm at a flower, I'll be getting the nectar. If I'm not at a flower, I'll be trying to make honey. Boom. Cool. Let's keep going.